Hey guys, so today I thought I would make a video about dead mines. So I'm currently at Sentinel Hill and I'm going to be running south, I think. Let me have a little look. Awesome. So I think we want to be heading to Moonbrook that's down here. So I'd recommend you guys follow the path down here um, then go along this way to Moonbrook. Okay. Um, Awesome. Oh wait, thanks can major scan thank you now. Okay, so now we've got to um Sentinel Hill guys. And um I'm still sort of just picking up some herbs here. Okay, basically guys, so you want to run through the town. Um okay, it's um a fairly small town, and you basically want to get into this door here. Okay? So um oh god. You basically want to get into this door here. So I'm going to get a mini map. So we're just located down here. So it's this building here. Now we're in the deadlines and it takes quite a while to get in. And this is, um, I think it's um, quite different from retail. Now there are a few quests that you can pick up from a Dwarven district for this, for this run. So, a lot of these classic dungeons weren't so easy to get into. Basically, you have to get a load of ads and mobs and things. Okay, so so far guys, I've um, sort of been running in and um, getting a lot of mobs and things and... And it's going quite well, I guess. Seems like a good place to pick up cloth and things if you want to actually um, get any of your cloth skills leveled up or your tailoring. Okay, don't do what I'm doing. I've kind of run out of mana right now. <laughs> Thank you. 
So of course one of the things you'll notice is I'm um, a level 40 mage, so I'm not really having much problem here, but um, I'm still having to drink an awful lot, you know? Um, this is one of the things about Classic that you just got to get used to, you know, the pacing is much slower than the modern retail game. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> sorry, I've just noticed that I've got my webcam working. So goodness knows what my thing is even recording. <sighs> I'm sorry about this, guys. And I've just turned my screen off for some reason. <laughs> okay, awesome. Let's see if I can get all the way in. So yeah, I think we're um, I think I'm near the entrance now. But um, uh, again, I haven't been here in so long. Okay, so basically, I think I've gone the wrong way. Um, <laughs> never mind. Also, I guess you shouldn't naturally assume that. Um, Oh, okay, so it's this way, I guess. So yeah, um, this is one of the good things and bad things about being a mage, right? Mages are actually the most mana intensive um, classes, really, which is probably why they make their own mana. Um, I mean, healers obviously can use a lot of mana too, but um, yeah, mages can just really burn through it. Um, obviously, frost bolts um, tends to be a lot more efficient with um, 136 mana than 600. Um, so you know, just do the basic maths. You can get about um, four or five um, frost bolts in for cost of one blizzard. But nevertheless, Blizzard is still pretty awesome and you can take down a lot of um, mobs more quickly. Also, one of my favorite talents here is actually Improved Blizzard, um, because it um, completely changes the game in terms of um, like AOE farming, because it just um, you know slows the um, enemy down so much. Okay, so I guess we're pretty much near the um, entrance. I guess we're just running in. Okay, so welcome to the Deadmines, guys. 
it's been a while since I've been here, but um, it'd be interesting to kind of see what's down here. Um, I mean, I have done this um, before, and uh, there's some, yeah, some really good stuff down here. Um, So again, um, if you're a mage or a caster generally, you really want to be um, bang on that um, mineral water as quickly as possible, right? Because a lot of the time, if it's um, a faster moving group, then, um, then you know you may not get that much opportunity to drink. I also recommend short sips, especially if you're a mage, right? So if you just um, get up to about 90% um, hydration, I guess, um, then it seems to work really well. I believe I'm looking good. But what my stats are. Ah. Okay, so you guys might actually spend a bit more time on this, I guess, but um, I guess I'm fairly um, OP in this area, which is kind of fun. But it's nice to help people out anyway. Like I say, there's a lot of cloth down here, so um, again, if you're a tailor, then you know that's gonna be pretty awesome for you. remember exactly but I think this door slams down when you enter combat in this area um can't quite remember so I guess we'll see won't we but um yeah something to be aware of don't start any kind of battles until you um actually know what's going on so okay I guess we're our first boss now which is Ragzor awesome and I'm pretty much all drink up so I guess I'll go pull him This dude hits hard. I do have my nice size barrier, so um, I can mitigate some amount of that damage I'm taking. Well, that wasn't too bad. I mean, tank mages can't normally sort of tank particularly amazingly, but um, I uh, I guess I'm they they feel not bad actually. You know, considering their cloth wearers, they do a pretty decent job sometimes. Bear in mind is I could use Damper Magic or Amplify Magic on myself, but I don't really know what's um, coming up. I know there's a bunch of pirates and a pirate ship and whatnot, but I um, guess we'll just have to see, right? Yeah. Kind of sexist, but for guys who are all doing grunt work, and the women all have super mega firepower. Uh, maybe. <laughs> just saying. Ah, oh, shit, I think I fucked this up. Oh.
Oh no, it's alright. So basically, when I'm um, a high level, or when most people are high level, it's kind of seen as um, benevolent to um, let your um, sort of lower level dudes um, actually get quite a lot of a loot, especially if it's something like an item. Um, because to be honest, they're going to benefit far more than you are, so um, I guess it's just polite, you know. I mean, I'm still taking some loot because, you know, I'm still only level 40 and I'm not exactly rich, so... Um, and yeah, I might do something interesting with a cloth, I don't know. Um, cloth is always really good for reputation. If you want to build reputation with different groups, then, you know, your wall cloth is um, brilliant. And it also keeps the price of the auction house up quite nicely. Is one of the good things about being a mage. Um, you can always use your ward if you um, run into problems. Okay, so bear in mind, when you're going into an instance in Classic, right, there may actually be a whole bunch of, um, horde, right? And you might not normally have to contend with that if you're just doing a sort of regular pug or something. But, um, just clearing out the goblins. Oh, Christ. play a warrior so um, I'm kind of you know accustomed to tanking a bit but um, it's kind of weird as a mage because I still feel so vulnerable you know I mean I've got my cloth armor and um, I mean I've got my ice barrier which is pretty decent but um, again if you want ice barrier at level 41 you really need to put all of your um, talents into frost which I guess is fine but um, I also really fancy um, arcane subtlety and in things um, so there's some um, certainly some good things on the arcane side at the beginning of the um, talent tree here which um, I'd certainly like to get. But I think I can, actually, because you don't necessarily... I've pretty much got all of the um, Frost talents I want and need. Now, one interesting talent, right, is... Uh, let me see, what is it? But yeah, there's one talent that you don't want to get as a Frost Mage, right, because it will absolutely freaking ruin everything. Let me have a little look. Which one is it? Oh, that frost war thing is fine. Oh. Oh. Yeah, sorry, it's this one, Frostbite. So you do not want to get Frostbite as a mage, right? Um, okay, this, yeah, gives your chill effects a 5% chance to freeze the target for 5 seconds. Okay, so um, if all your targets are um, sort of being frozen or whatever, then... Um, but it sort of actually messes up your um, area of effect, basically, so it's harder to actually control mobs. So if you're going to go down the um, Blizzard leveling route, which is, um, I highly recommend it, then yeah, avoid that talent at all costs. Now, remember, guys, as a druid, right, you actually have... Um, ooh... I'm going to pass on that. Oh, 
Okay, so in classic, the um, blue items are quite rare, but um, yeah, look at the axe. That's quite a decent axe. Yeah, for a paladin, I think they can use axes, so it's pretty decent. And if you're an orc, orcs get bonus to um, axe skill, so it's especially good. So yeah, that's some um, pretty we decent weapon drop for him, so um, it's quite nice. I'm still looking at these items. 34 feet, so I don't really need that. Maybe we should just start green rolling, because, you know, these are just vendor items anyway. I mean, if nobody needs them, I guess. Which, let's face it, I don't really need it because I'm way too high level to uh, need anything from here. But hey, I wanted to make this video for you guys, so um, here we are. And yeah, this is quite fun to be honest. I quite like getting everyone and sort of um, lizarding them. Uh, looks like I need to rebuff. Another thing to remember in Classic, guys, is um, you always need to rebuff. There's no 60 minute buffs here. Um, so yeah, just gotta remember to buff everyone. True buffs are actually some of the best in the game, I think. Uh, again, that's one of the things about these um, buffs is they take a heck of a lot of um, mana. And to be honest, I don't really see the point of um, you know taking up so much mana, but um, I guess that's just the way the game is. I mean, if you look, um, I went down to about twenty-five percent mana just from buffing you know three people. But uh, yeah, I think it's just it's a feature. <laughs> it's what we call a feature. <laughs> So again, I think I'm in pretty good time on this run. You know, I am a um, herbalist, so there might be some um, good herbalist jobs in here. Um, haven't seen any so far, but um, I mean, I, I guess there could be some good recipes or something. Um, and remember, you can always sell a lot of recipes unless it bind on big up on the auction house, so they're always good to have, you know? Again, this is another boss, um, so this is going to be fun. Um, I don't quite know what's going to happen, but um, we'll have to see, won't we, I guess? Gathering up some goblins. Geez, I better start watching my mana. Uh oh. Ah! Oh God. That was really stupid of me. <sighs> okay, look, I'm going to treat this as um, a learning experience, right? Um, in areas like that, you've got to be really careful because the mobs don't come in ones, right? They had pretty much for the whole um, instance just come in ones and twos, right? But um, 
yeah, those goblins, oh, they were tricky. And to be honest, we had ranged weapons, which again is pretty nasty, um, because you know, it's fairly easy as um, some of a mage to, um, to kill the dudes. Um, is if they're um, melee, but yeah, um, ranged is a bit of a nightmare. But uh, yeah, I guess you guys can see the quickest way to run back in when you die in the dead lines. Now, I'm kind of actually reminded of. Oh, by the way, here's a meeting stone. I don't think this will be added into um, Classic because I don't think it'll be um, advanced enough. But uh, anyway, I'll just pretend I didn't see that. But uh... oh gosh, I've gone the wrong way. So I sincerely hope that all the mobs haven't respawned because that'll be a right pain. If I get there quickly, maybe they won't. Oh dear. I don't remember the right way to go now. This way, this bloody instance is kind of confusing. I remember in um, retail, I was actually farming some um, skeletons and stuff a while ago, and so um, I was actually um, looking for a piece of um, transport gear. Do you know, I better follow that wisp? Because otherwise, I'm going to get lost. Huh? Don't leave me. Okay, so I can pretty much see on the mini-map where I need to go now. It's down there. Okay, so one problem with dungeons is when you die um, in Classic, right? Bear in mind that the guys are all going to respawn, right? Because um, that makes sense, right? I mean, obviously, you could be doing a dungeon eternally. It's not like something you just do it once um, and that's it. No, you could just live. Um, oh. Okay, so I guess these are just random spawn patrols, but. Um, Still kind of annoying. So yeah, my manner is absolutely abysmal, but I know we gotta keep moving. You know, part of the problem is I've actually got a microphone in front of my face and uh, kind of blocking my view, so it's kind of not my fault, it's the recording's fault, but no, to be honest, it's for goblins' fault. I kind of underestimated them, and you know, those goblins are tricky with all their um, mechanical stuff, with their guns and things. But uh, yeah, I guess we should we should carry on. Should I should close it on them. <laughs> but yeah, um, for people who haven't played Classic for a while, um, there's going to be a lot more deaths and, you know, you just kind of have to grit your teeth and get used to it, you know. Um, it's actually the deaths that make people good at the game, so, um... And yeah, there are certain rules, like, never underestimate the enemy and, um, sort of things like that. Um, especially if they're goblins and they've got guns and bombs and things. I mean, I was right to mass pull them, I just think I pulled too many, you know. So again, the goblins are spawning these horrible little um, remote control things, and they actually seem more powerful than the goblins themselves.
Let's have a look. Can we see? I can't see very HP. So, okay. So every two goblins are going to spawn two more of these dudes. Which is kind of annoying. I'll tell you what, there's quite a lot of ore down here. So, you know, if you do any old um, blacksmithing or engineering, this might be a good place to sort of farm. If you're um, level 60 and you want some low level. Ah, what am I talking about? You can just buy the stuff from the auction house if you wanted to. You know, if you're level 60, it'd probably be worth you um, doing something for earn you a bit more money. I just noticed I haven't actually given myself an intellect buff. Which is a bit naughty. I'm going to give him some level 4 water, see what he does. Ah, uh, right. Oh gosh. Uh, I'm going to need to get a level 3 water. That's another thing you're going to enjoy, you guys. Um, there's also lots of different levels of water. Um, I can't even see where it went. So it kind of goes without saying, but um, but there's loads and loads of ranks for everything. Um, now this is kind of useful. Um, I remember as a druid when I had low um, health, right? You could still use level one um, like wisp or level one um, or basically the um, level one spell, and um, that would still kind of you know um, keep aggro up. And uh, I can't remember why I used it, but. Um, the other thing you can do is you can actually use lower level healing and um, again if you're low on mana that just kind of keeps the um, you know um, health topped up and it's you know quite efficient to use for lower level spells still so um, you're yeah, not completely useless I'm just gonna like I don't know pull a few more I think ah. Bear in mind, another big difference between this and um, Classic WoW is there's going to be a lot of um, guys who actually have much higher resistances to things. So, for example, in um, Molten Core, um, basically everyone's, um, almost every um, unit in there is resistant to fire damage. So as a mage, that can be kind of tricky. So again, even with a smaller pool, I'm still sort of struggling slightly. And bear in mind, um, a lot of guys will actually run away from you. So, um, so basically what you need to do is you need to um, they will run away from you, right? So basically, you need to be in a um, position so the where they're running is going to be empty, basically. But yeah, you can use this to your advantage. So in other words, if there's a big load, if there's a big mob in front of you, you need to basically pull someone out, get behind them, right, so that your back is towards the mob, and then they will run um, to where there's no mob. Sorry, that was unbelievably convoluted. <laughs>
so the other thing is, um, this dungeon seems to be getting progressively harder, right? So that's some um, one thing I haven't really seen in retail, you know. Generally speaking, um the dungeon stays the um sort of same level. But um Actually, you know, these flasks of oil are quite valuable. So I think I'm gonna I don't know, throw out I'm just gonna use this. Um these are actually used for a um harvester quest. So um yeah, they're definitely worth keeping. Yeah, this is taking ages. I mean, if I were to die again, then um, we'd, well, probably give up, but um, definitely everyone would have respawned. So, um, I think I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sheep one of them. Kinda makes more sense, right? So it sort of seems like I've almost got two healers here, um, Druid and Mapali, and uh, I'm both just kind of trying to keep me alive because I'm my age and my uh, armor's cloth, so, oh. But yeah, you can really see this um, sheep's been cc for a long time here. I've done the deadlines, but it has not been for a very long time, and um, I've mostly um, done the um, newer version, which is kind of completely different from this. This area is being transformed into a kind of crazy boss fight. Uh, and again, my inventory is completely full up with these um, vials, which um, I'm sort of using for herbalism. You know, this is one of the advantages of actually taking something like skinning and mining, right? Um, your inventory won't be full up with junk, so um, you can actually get a lot more in your bags. You know, and bag management is a big problem in um, in classic. That was good, but it burned a heck of a lot of mana. So by the looks of things, um, a goblin actually summons his um, little buddy, um, so it might be possible to um, actually um, counterspell that. Um, I wonder if I can. I could give it a go. I really want this copper ore. I don't actually need food, so I'm gonna have copper ore instead. Now, as a mage, it's also important to remember you need to keep your water topped up because the mage without water, basically, uh, you know, you need to regenerate for mana naturally. Um, it just takes like so much longer. And it seems I've got like a boss here. So this is what I mean, guys. Um, if they run away from me, then what that actually means is they're gonna run towards that door there. Which is fine, because there's nobody at the door. Ooh! Someone's lucky day. You know, the funny thing is, it's got agility, so I'm not going to need it. But that's a damn fine ring.
again, if you had a five-man crew, um, you might get through this a little bit faster, but honestly, I doubt it. Doing running around there like a crazy man. That was a bit too close to be honest. I think the healers went AFK. Again, there's a lot of assorted parts. Thanks here. Again, perfect for engineers. I'm not an engineer, but oh, so tricky to know which trash to throw away. But I'm sure there's an extension that kind of tells you how much the trash is actually worth. Pretty sure cheap beer doesn't actually um. Have much value. Mushroom. Yay. <laughs> now I'm underground in the mines eating mushrooms. Oh, pretty though. Uh, sorry, my cat's coming is bugging me. Wow, giving me fluffy attention. Now oh, I guess I should probably move on. talking about I'm just gonna get rid of some of these humies. I think that really awesome ring that dropped. Um, I don't know if he can pick it up, so I think that's what's happening. I'm just gonna go get some these days. Again, um, in short, if you guys can get the group together and do the dead mines, it's definitely worth it. There's some pretty decent loot down here. Um, not for me so much, but you know. Um, oh, look, there's the cannon and the door. I think I need to um, blast the door open with the cannon. <laughs> It's 
Okay, so I need some Defiler's Gunpowder. Uh... Which... Oh, okay. Gunpowder's here. Right, that makes sense. See? This video, you're learning things. It's educational, man. I do apologize for my um, appearance today, but uh, I'm going to minimize this quickly and just... Oh, thank goodness. Sorry, I had a horrible fear that I wasn't actually recording anything. <laughs> that would have been annoying. Uh-oh, shoot. So we're on to the pirates, it seems, with the pirates. So we're up to a pirate ship now, guys. Woohoo! This is a really long run, isn't it? I mean, I know they may run shorter later on, but it really is quite a long one. It's a long... Oh, God. You know, someone's going to clip that out of context and it's going to sound really bad. <laughs> mm. You know, my cat's just going crazy right now. You know, I do not remember this place, really, I don't. I'm just gonna get like four of them, I think. I don't know where the parrot's gone. Oh, it's fair. Again, I'm doing a really bad job of the blizzards here, right? Um, normally, out in the, um, world, you would, um, you would use your Frost Nova, and then you'd, um, basically run away to the maximum distance that your, um, Blizzard could handle, right? Um, and I think you'd actually increase the range of Blizzard through one of the talents. But, um, yeah, you'd, you'd run away, um, then you'd use Blizzard, and you'd actually get in maybe two or three different Blizzards before the, you know, to actually kill the enemies. But, but uh, yeah, I'm using it a bit early in here because it's um, a bit more constrained. And honestly, this is just burning so much mana. And because I'm like the only like big DPS in the group here, um, seeing as I'm um, level 40, it's just taking a while. Oh gosh, and they're using Frost Nova. Oops. So one of the good things you can do, guys, is um, I really hope they don't wipe. That would be a freaking nightmare. So yeah, be careful that you don't fall, guys. Um, as I just did. Look at that lovely wall. You know what? I actually think that mana potion might come in useful later on, so... It's bloody bubbling water. What a load of useless nonsense. That's the thing, as a herbalist, I really should um, get a load of potions and things, but I just kind of haven't. Oops. Hello. Only three minutes left on. Okay. 
Now, fawns might be a bit of an annoyance, but honestly, it is um, very, very useful. So is this the most exciting um, place in the universe? Um, no, but I'll tell you what, this is all about endurance, this place, right? Like, you've kind of got to stay focused for a long time, and um, it's it's kind of fun. I think it's probably more fun if you've got more people, to be honest. But, um, and if you're not kind of like a mage who needs to drink every, like, oh, second. Okay, so there's some rows here in the entrance. Uh oh, and it's Mr. Smite. Oh god, this is bad. So I've got this horrible stun. I had no idea this was going to be a boss, right? And uh oh, someone is he's immune to damage. Oh, you're me angry. Okay, so it's not too bad. I think he's immune to nature damage. Um Damn. Someone's got a darn nice axe there. I mean, that mace. It's Trump and Agility, so it's no good for me. Well, I tell you what, I haven't got much out of this run, apart from this awesome video, of course, but um, these guys, they're smothered in blues now, so I wonder what they're going to get from a pirate ship. Oh, shoot. I'm going to head here, Sal, come on. So one five. So yeah, it's more a manner efficient to use frostbolt. I'm just looking at the manner of things. I'm tempted to use some hot wolf ribs too. Um, should give me a nice little stamina and spirit boost. I'll come in handy. I should have used it like at the beginning of the instance. It would have actually helped me regenerate more quickly. Oh well. I think I go this way. Maybe I should start sheeping one of them. I don't know, I'm near the end though. Plus, I guess we're getting nature damage from fawns, which, you know, kind of adds up over time. to come out of this is I've got a heck of a lot of mats to put on the auction house, you know. Um, they're not going to fetch loads of money, but, um, you know, someone will find them useful, I guess. You know, that tin actually sells really, really well. 
And, um, yeah, not so much in this economy, but um, the demand for rare, raw resources when um, plastic starts is going to be insane, right? Probably already has started if you're still watching this. Um, it's only a few days now. This isn't actually that much more <laughs> manner efficient. Because by the time the actual dude dies, I'm just... Dead anyway from... That's it, you stealth. Again, um, if you've got a mage who keeps drinking, um, just do some blessing of wisdom. You know, just regenerate some quicker, keep some moving, right? I don't even know which way we're going. I think we're going up there, so. Oh no. But uh, yeah, don't try to skip bit, bits on the um, in this place because um, well, that kind of goes for any kind of like really dense bit of area. Now, if I remember rightly, there's some kind of fish boss in the sea here. I don't remember. Hmm. Not that I don't recommend we do it, but. Interesting if it was like a fish boss. Maybe it was like a modern thing they added in or something. <laughs> Maybe I just hallucinated it, I don't know. <laughs> Again, honestly, with um, Blessing of Wisdom, my mana regeneration is just so much better. Definitely, if you've got a paladin in the group and make a cast for that, I'll definitely get it. So, it didn't really matter because my inventory is full anyway, but, um... It's always polite to roll for a, um, for a chest. But he's just having a look. But that's fine just to have a look, I mean. Yeah, yeah. I could do with a copper ore, I guess. Seeing as how I'm collecting that. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm just curious, guys. How many um ores do I have? So ten here, um, ten copper ore, twenty copper ore, um, ten tin. Um, see, is there any more? Ooh, sixteen two two. Let's have a little look. Nah, I'm gonna pass.
Again, you can just like quickly drink and inhale some. Really don't like this place. Too many people wandering around. Gonna get back a bit, I think. I'm a bit worried I'm going to pull a load of people. Oh shoot. So paraclades just dropped, so I don't know how rare they are, or if um, you can just buy them, but... Hmm, evocation time! I forgot I had that! We're not gonna die today, guys. Ah! Ah, oh, shoot. Captain Greenskin. Yeah, it's pretty decent stuff's dropping, but I'm mostly interested in this parrot cage here. Ooh. Cool. So let's have a little look at the parrot cage, then, um, just in case you're interested. Um, it is a parrot cage, green, green wing macaw. Oh. I don't think that's actually valuable. I think they sell them at Booty Bay. So, uh, that's, um, not disappointing, but it's, um, yeah, something you can buy. Also, the annoying thing is, in Classic, right, if you actually have a pet, right, then you kind of have to keep it in, um, your inventory, which again fills up a space, which you could be, um, using better if you, um, had something else in there. I'm gonna sheep this dude over here. I'm just trying to kill the ads. Okay, so this guy's immune to um, basically everything but damage, right? So my um, Frost Nova is not really doing anything to him. Yeah, that's a good coat. Evocation. Um. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Again, not the best performance from me, really, but. Hey, it looks like we've pretty much completed the deadlines, fan. I guess we did it. Ooh, a ladder. Definitely could pick him out. 
Grey Spider still, I'm getting the um, letter instead. Ooh. Is that so fast? I know it's the stupidest thing in the world, but um, I never actually got the quests for this area. I know there's some in Ironforge. Uh, sorry, in Stormwind, in the um, Portland District, okay? Um, but yeah, I mean, they're low level anyway, but it would have been good, I guess, for the um, XP and, you know, the reputation and stuff, but I'm not too fast, to be honest. Um, yeah. I'm just going to leave the linen cloth. I know, I'll take it with me. Oh yes, over there, okay. Jet. Ah, shit. Oh gosh, this is another like micro boss. As a mate, you've always got the option of ice block if you've gone down this route. But it's kind of an advanced um, move. But... Ooh, very nice, Tenderizer. Okay guys, so um, yeah, I really hope you like this run. Um, I'm wondering if I should speed it up a tiny bit just um, so you don't have to sit through all of this. Um, but uh, yeah, I I think it's been pretty good to be honest. Kind of quite nostalgic, quite um, awesome. And yeah, look, here's the um, old instance, the old portal. Not quite sure where we'll come out. Oh yeah. Oh, I remember in Rizal, I'm always trying to like get up here with my warrior, right? Um, but never actually can. So, something I've tried to do many times. I'm only gonna have these sides too. So, okay, guys, um, really hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm gonna actually make a portal to Stormwind. Actually, I wonder if I even have anything selling. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna um, make a portal to um, Stormwind and I'm gonna sell a bunch of stuff on the auction house. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.